absorption spectrum graphs show us the wavelength of light that different photosynthetic pigments absorb. If you look at this graph, light absorption is on the y-axis and the wavelength of light is on the x-axis. You can see that most photosynthetic pigments absorb light in the blue-violet and red parts of the light spectrum. It is essential to mention that each photosynthetic pigment will absorb a particular wavelength of light and reflect a wavelength of light we see. So looking at the graph, one of the reasons a leaf will appear green to us is that they absorb little amounts in this part of visible light and therefore green light is reflected. The action spectrum is a graph showing the rate of photosynthesis against the wavelength of light. These action spectrums are obtained by projecting different wavelengths of light in turn, for a given period of time, to green pondweed. The gas is produced is collected and the volume is measured. This production of oxygen gives us a measure of the rate of photosynthesis. Theodore Engelmann in 1880 was the first person to compare the rate of photosynthesis with the wavelength of light. In his experiment, he used a species of aquatic aerobic bacteria. These bacteria would accumulate where oxygen was present. Engelmann split sunlight into its different colours using a prism and shone this light onto filamentous algae which are made up of rows of photosynthetic cells. The aquatic bacteria would accumulate around the filaments mainly around areas where chloroplasts were receiving blue and red light which showed the importance of this light for photosynthesis. When we compare the absorption and action spectrum graphs for chlorophyll pigments, they match and we can see that in green plants, blue and red light are used as the energy source for photosynthesis. Furthermore, action spectrographs show us having different photosynthetic pigments makes a much bigger portion of light available to plants, giving them an adaptive advantage. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching and resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.